everyone, in tonight's Unity tutorial, I want to go over um, the methods that I'm using to make the motor sound in a racing game. And this is a racing game I've been working on for a couple of weeks now. And let's just see what the motor sounds are like at this point in my um, work. So I'm going to just kind of press play on this game here and press start. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. So I kind of start the engine. Ready, set, go, go, go! And the car's Easy. engines kind of rev like, kind of like you'd expect. You know? But the, there was a difficult thing. Uh, it, it's not so simple to get a car engine sound because. One, you need a, like a smooth set of a, an engine rumbling without kind of like um, revving too much. It has to be able to loop over and over again. So um, how did I make that car engine sound and how do I make it um, accelerate and decelerate when I press the gas pedal? That's what I'm going to go over in this tutorial tonight. So um, let's open up another scene I have here. It's empty basically. And I just have an empty game object where I'm able to put an audio source on and the audio source will loop. And I could play with the pitch to hear how the sound would sound as a, um, as a motor. So this is the scene that I'm going to test making my car engine sound with. And now I have to get some sounds for a car engine. So I kind of go to my browser and I used freesound.org and I kind of signed up with an email account so that I could you know download the sounds if I find any that I like so um, I noticed I had a better time working with motorcycle sounds for my racing game because they were nice and thick so I just type in the word motorcycle and some search results come up over here and you could listen to any of the results here And as you can see, if I were to loop these, they're not ready for the game yet. But um, let's see if I find one that has some sounds that I like. Um, no, no, no. I think I had seen one before, Norton. Motorcycle and old Norton. Let's see what that sounds like. All right, so this has some engine thumping sounds in it. So let me go over here and I'm just going to download this to my desktop and say save. And here it is. And now it's downloaded to my desktop. Yep. Okay. So I have that sound here and I'm just going to bring it into my game by dragging and dropping. So I could add it as an asset and where to go right here. So now I'm just going to use this here and the sound is loaded up here. Now I could press, um, you know, if I were to press play, the sound should play and it should loop over. Okay. But I don't want the whole sound. I want pieces of the sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to edit the sound. To edit the sound, I'm using Audacity. And it's a free tool that you could download from the internet. I just basically typed um, Audacity download. And this is it. So you can just press go to the download. And I have Windows, so I would click this. And then I'd run the install and I'd have the Audacity software tool right here. And this is pretty good. It does a lot of work with sounds and it's all free. So now I'll just drag and drop this sound in here and this is what it looks like. So first things first, I, I'm not worrying about the stereo effects. So I'm gonna take the sound tracks and mix them down to a mono track. All right, now I press, um, Control A to select the whole wave file. But I got to find the part of the sound that I want to actually use for my motor. So let me press play. 
to this little green arrow as a position. So I find like this part over here sounds pretty good. Let me just try to select that part. I just hold my mouse down and drag, and this is the selected part. And now I press shift spacebar so it could play in loop. So you can hear how that part I could probably use as a sound for my engine. It just, it's not looping perfect. I could tell like where it's looping over. So with that selected, I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to copy it. And then I am going to um, close this track, file, um, new. Oh, no, I could just say edit, paste, edit, paste. And this is just the piece that I had. And I could zoom in so I could see it a little bit better. Now if I press shift, space. It kind of does not repeat nicely. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have this whole thing is selected again with control A and I will say duplicate. So now I have two copies and on the second copy over here, I'm going to just select the second copy by dragging out and the selection. And on the second copy, I'm going to reverse it. Okay. Um, and this could move over. So what do I do for that? I use time shifting and I just drag it over to the beginning. Okay, now I can go back to this one. Now if I press shift space to loop what I have now. It's kind of um, it's still not working, but let me see if I select a smaller piece of this. Let me delete this one. Basically what I want to do is I want to select a section of it where I don't hear the I don't hear it like a repeating thing. So let me try selecting a smaller piece. Okay, maybe that works better. Edit, copy. File, pay, edit, paste. Alright, now I have a smaller piece of it. Zoom in. And this sounds a little bit better for looping. So now I'm going to do a thing. This is selected. Control A. Edit. Duplicate. And on the duplicate, I'll select it and I'm going to reverse it. Effect. And reverse. And why did you shift over? Go back in the position here. All right. And now both of them. So maybe what I could do here is I'll select the first one. Let me go back to the selection tool. And I'll have this one fade out. And then I'll select the second one. And I'll have this one fade in. Okay, and now let me press shift. And maybe I can play around with it a little bit more and add some what am I looking for? Reverb. Oops, I got to press Control A first. Effect, reverb, preview what this is going to sound like. <laughs> it's not going to loop, so I'll just say OK. And now Shift. I'm just trying to hide the thing. So let's just say I have this for now. Maybe it's a little bit too low, so I can increase the volume of it with you know it's one of these guys is amplify which is oh there it is it's alphabetical har 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 and let me see what that sound ooh that's really loud so zero would be nothing increased there just so it's a little bit easier to hear in the game so now file I'm gonna export um I'm gonna export it as a wave it's a bigger file, but it's like it, I could manipulate it better and, um, and stuff like that. So I'm going to export it as a wave, and I'll call this my motor 01. Okay, and I saved it to my 
desktop is just warning me that it's going to mix it down to a single instead of a double. So now if I were to look at this file, this is what it looks like. It's one single tr mono track. All right. I'm going to close this out and now I'm going to try to sound out in Unity. So I think this one I'm not going to use. I'll take that out. I'm going to use this one called Motor and just drag and drop it in here. And now I'll put that on the game object that I created and I'll press play. Yeah, that's not good. I kind of hear the looping. And I'll see how it sounds if I step on the gas. Um, that's just my quick thing of uh, how to make a motor a motor sound for a racing game. Um, I know that games like Forza and stuff, the motor sound way better. But for me right now, this is as far as I've gotten in my last couple of weeks on trying to make sounds for my cars. So I guess what I'll do is for different cars, I'll come up with different sounds from maybe some different samples. Some will sound deeper, some will sound lighter, like on this here, the monster truck, I'll probably like, you know, make something deeper that sounds more like a truck. And on something like this guy, a smaller race car, I'll probably have a higher pitch sound, you know, but then that way when people pick different cars in my game, they'll have different sounds and they'll, they'll perform different and you'll really feel the difference between the cars. Um, you know, so there you go. That's how I, at this point, and day and time on making my motor sounds for my cars. I hope that helps you. Bye.